everybody, it's Tanya. I am coming back so we can finish up our hardcover folio. Um, so, I just took two sheets of memorandum. I'm going to have this one for my outside cover and then this one for the back, okay? And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put them together and all I did was um, I kind of just eyeballed it like I do all the time and I made a mark right here um, I made a mark right here okay and then I made like a, a inch over and then I actually right here so about right there it's like right where the um, can you see that you cannot see that hold on Let me bring it down okay so right here where the book lines up with the paper the top of the book I'm making a mark right there okay and so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut it really quickly hopefully really quickly um, and we're gonna cut um okay so before I do that since we have this inch mark right here so this is where your score lines are gonna be right here right this part you're gonna want to keep um maybe two inches because that is where how it's gonna attach to the um back of the book okay so we'll keep that over there we'll cut this like right here like this okay so this one actually you can cut this one down a little bit like smaller see but i think i'm going to keep them together um, to make it a little bit more sturdy I, th I think that's what I'm going to do but you don't have to do that you can totally do it your your way I'm coming guys oh if you guys hear like a fan blowing it is actually my little heater because y'all it is snowing here and it's crazy so I got my heater on because I don't want to turn like the root like the main heat on that's like crazy right but anyway so if you guys hear something I'm sorry my, my my feet are cold and I and I don't like to wear socks I know I know I do have on house shoes though <laughs> okay so that is that right so let me see if it's gonna work I just I gotta make sure everything is gonna work before I actually do it so um because I don't you know, I tend to mess up a lot and I don't want to, it's better if I know it works. So I might have to cut it down some and, and if I have to cut it down some, that's fine. Um, I'm okay with that. I'd rather cut it down than, you know, it'd be too short. Let's see. It might be too short. Oh, no, no, no. It's perfect. Okay. So we're going to cut it down just a little bit. Um, maybe so this is where the um, score line is right there so we're gonna just we're gonna take off maybe an eighth of an inch okay that'll work that'll work take that off real quick okay uh, line that up Okie doke. Got that. Okay. All right. Okay. So we are going to do it just like we did the other ones and put some glue right in the middle because we already know that it's going to um, get cut off. And so we can keep it together. Do it like that. Make sure everything is lined up right. Okay. Alright, let me check it one more time, y'all. Let me check one more time. And make sure it's not up against here. Okay, perfect. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Put all my pieces back together. All right, so now we are going to make a square.
do all this out of the way really quickly. Um, okay, and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to erase all this stuff first. Um, all the marks that I have on here. Ink everything up. Uh, I don't know if I sewed around this one individually. Did I do that or did I just sew it together? Oh yeah, I sewed around it individually. Um, do I want to do that? I probably will sew around it individually, but you know what? I'm not because I don't want this to rip. It's so thin, so I'm going to put it together and then sew around it and you just have to see the the stitch marks, okay? So, um, that's how we're going to do it, okay? So I'm going to put the acetate in there um, and I am going to ink it and I am just going to sew. Well, first I'm going to probably glue, lightly glue and then sew around it like this and then I am going to glue this part together like that okay and then we'll have the door like so all right all right guys so this is what I have um, I sewed around it and you know I put my tape in there um, so make sure that you ink this up really well because you know it is just um you know raw chipboard and you know make sure you you're you sand it down and everything but you guys already know that um, mine is a little rough but i don't mind that it's rough and i don't mean to shake the table um but i'm gonna you know make sure it looks decent okay so because this right here is going to be flushed to this edge okay so let me get all that stuff off of there all right and you can definitely use um what is it Ooh. so i made it an inch um i made this an inch but i'm probably only going to end up using like a half an inch so i'm going to put my score tape like right here and about right here okay I'm gonna put my square tape right here oh and I angled the corners okay so we're gonna add the score tape right here Okay, so it is on there, right? So that is our um, cover. And then this is gonna lay like this, right? Um, and then we're gonna have a eyelet right here to close it, right? So we'll put one right here real quick. Mm -hmm. And, oh, here they go, right here. Okay. I'm going to have to clean those scissors off. And this project is over. Okay. So we have that. And I think I like that. Okay. Now, um... I know it's going to be right there, so what I'm going to do is I think I'm going to put a piece of string on the back of this, like that, so that um, it can tie. So I am just going to lay it like this and use some uh, score tape 
or scrapbook.com tape, I'm sorry, like that. And just tape it on there, like so. And tape it all the way up to the edge, like that, so it doesn't move. Okay. And that off there. Yeah. And then take this one. I probably used the wrong one, but it's okay. Um, and do a knot right here. Like so. Yeah. And then you just be able to tie it like that. Okay. That works, right? Alrighty. And then this is going to go like this, right? So I am going to line this edge right here with, um, I think I'm going to line it with double-sided scrapbook.com tape, double-sided tape. I'm going to line this with double-sided tape. Okay, but let's try to assemble everything before we get to there. I, I don't know if I'm going to need something on the back of this yet. Um, because my original plan was to just put it onto here, right? That's my original plan, to put it right here. And then, and that might work. And then I was going to put the hinges. Uh, oh my goodness, my scissors are too yucky. I don't know. Okay. Okay. So I was going to put my one hinge right here, like this, right? And then what goes next? Uh, I guess it would be this on this side that goes next. Or do I want it? Didn't I want something on this side? Well, it doesn't matter, does it? So it will go right here. So that will go right here. And then, um, let me make sh let me. Okay, so your girl, the smart girl named Tanya, <laughs> put, um, I put my hinges on this side. They're not supposed to be on this side. They're supposed to be on this side so that it can fold out like this. But I don't know what I was thinking. My mind, I just was not there. So I'm coming to tell you before you watch what I'm going to do is that it is supposed to go on this side. Okay, it's supposed to go on this side. And that way, it can close. Um, that's how it's supposed to do, like that. Okay guys, you can see that I've messed up. <laughs> so, um, we are going to hinge everything to this, even this, okay? This one, okay? So what we're gonna do we're just going to take it and we're just going to hinge it because this is going to be a stationary one so it can handle the bulk of the weight. Um, since it's going to be stationary, I believe it can handle it, you know? So that is what I'm going to do. Now, um, I am hoping that it turns out good. <laughs> I've had some mishaps <laughs> happen. And I am going to probably put something right there to cover all that um, washy up. I don't know. Well, I don't know. We'll see what I'll put there. I don't know.
yeah <laughs> that took me a minute right and then we have this right here we have this this and then this right and then we have our back pocket right i am going to do something and cover that up of course i am before um i do the final flip through of course i will okay so that is that um that's how it's gonna go and then it will be in here so what we're going to do now is we are going to take our paper and we are going to ink it up and glue it down right real, real quick I guess it doesn't really matter but you never know you might be able to see it and I know I'm inking it sloppy but it doesn't it doesn't matter I just want it to look oldish okay um and we are going to use um what is this double-sided adhesive adhesive okay oh my gosh y'all me and putting things on straight and putting things on correctly today is just it's just not working today. I don't know what is going on with my brain. It's just, my brain today is just, I think it went on vacation and it didn't tell me. really good make sure it's really flat and you're not going to see it so it doesn't really matter but still want it to be flat okay there you go and then we're going to add that up real good and those up like that like that right okay and then this is how it's going to look right there right <sighs> okay and that is that right okay so in order to get it to where we need it we do need to glue this down and um so when you glue it down be careful that you you know you're gluing it right so let me open this up. Okay. Let me make sure I'm doing it right. Okay. And I know I want this to be right here. Right there. I want it to be over. Make sure it's over. So I am going to mark it. I'm going to push it up just a little bit. Okay.
guys, so we are done. We are done creating the hardcover folio. Um, it turned out really nice. I love how it turned out. Um, what do you guys think? Do you guys like it? Um, I started to embellish, but not a lot. Um, because I kind of want to wait until I get finished. So right here, all I did was I had um, some um, uh, leftover... Um, I don't know, not leftover. It was some ephemera that I had that I just um, put eyelids in there and made it into a little pocket. And then this is from Tim Holtz. Um, so, and then this is vintage ephemera right here. And that's paper clipped on. And another vintage postcard right here. And I haven't did anything else. That's all I did. And then I added this um, quote chip at the bottom. Um, I... I'm going to do a fabric folio for, for this part, but I'm going to follow Susie's tutorial. This is the fabric that I have picked out for the, um, the cover of it. Um, and then I think I'm going to use this one in the inside and this one. So I think you need three, but I can't remember what she said in her tutorial. So these are the three that I'm going to kind of use. And then in the back, because you know, like in mine, I put like a traveler's notebook or mm, mm, something similar to a traveler's notebook, I think. Um, it was more, it was bigger than a traveler's notebook. But um, I'm going to use this for the cover of that. Okay. So um, I will come back and do a final... Um, flip through um, so you guys can see what I end up doing with it and what I created but I hope you guys enjoyed um, the video and the reason why I'm not doing the fabric folio tutorial because Susie's tutorial is amazing and I know I would jack that up <laughs> so I hope you guys understand um, that I'm not really comfortable teaching her tutorial and um, that I know she would she totally would love to see what you guys come up with so um i will be back with a final flip through of this so god bless guys bye